Hello Hangouts and we are here for another wonderful episode. We are in the presence of the one, the only, Abu Tahir. Right, you know I'm part of this channel, yeah? I know you are. All right. I, yeah. I feel like we have to introduce you nah, every single time. Nah. I'm here every week. Catch me on hangouts.tv. Dot TV? <laughs> no, I don't know. He doesn't even know our URL. <laughs> so guys, today's episode is a really interesting one. Abu, you are a curry lover. Wait, well, are you stereotyping? Dude, but you're a self-proclaimed curry lover I we've seen like you in episodes yeah. talking about curry I don't um, love a curry. many episodes talking about curry yep. you love a curry i love a curry we're south asian of course we love a curry now do you know the difference between a indian traditional indian pakistani curry and a japanese curry um i don't know the difference between a pakistani curry and a bengali curry but the japanese curry i know is you like missed, you missed indian curry <laughs> indian curry or pakistani curry all right we'll throw in uh, Bing, Bing, Bangladeshi curry right. as well. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bengali curry, Indian curry, we kind of That's for another episode, man. Let's talk about that later. So what we have here is a traditional Indian curry. Yeah. All yeah. the way from a Roma restaurant. Very local. Thanks, guys. So this is a traditional chicken kadahi. Ingredients that will go into here, your garam masala, chili powder, coriander. It goes into making a chicken curry. Now, yep, the difference yep. is that we bring into play the katsu curry and we also have here a teriyaki. Yes, you've got sticky rice there. We've got noodles here. So the chicken katsu, and they call it chicken katsu curry as well, or chicken katsu, is essentially this panko breaded chicken. Then you have some traditional katsu sauce on top and on this one we have the teriyaki sauce. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's talk about the sauces because that's obviously a key differentiator between the two. Mm. So a teriyaki sauce here is a mixture of ginger, soy sauce and um, a few other ingredients and that's what makes that texture thicker. One obvious difference between the teriyaki sauce and the chicken curry sauce that you saw earlier is the consistency. As you can see here, then the katsu sauce that's on your curry over here, it does have some familiar ingredients to the Indian curry. So there is some overlap. It's got curcumin, turmeric, ginger, curry powder, uh -huh. more of a milder curry powder actually, okay. compared to maybe that we're used to. I want to try it out. Are you ready to give it a bit of a shot? Let's start with the uh, traditional curry. Uh, well, traditional for us, that is. Yeah, starving, man. Mm. Lots of flavour. Yeah. Lots of flavour. I like um, it. Spicy. Ooh, got a kick. The chicken, nice and moist. I like the fact that the rice has some mushrooms in there, actually. But curry-wise, yeah, I mean, no. This is me all day long. I like curry. This is what we grew up with. Without the curry sauce, that would be boring. The sauce that makes it. Okay, so how does that compare to our uh, Japanese katsu curry? So I'm going to try a bit of the sticky rice first. I'll get straight in, mate. Everything. Mm, I'm liking the rice. Yeah, stick about it's all right, but yeah, the curry. I thought the Indian curry would be way better, but this is, I mean, it's up there. I quite like the taste. It's quite thick. It's got a distinctive curry taste, but very different to our Indian curries. I like it, yeah. There is a bit of familiarity in the in the katsu sauce. It's a milder curry powder. Crispy, crunchy chicken. I think it complements this. I mean, really enjoying the panko crumbs on the on the outside of the chicken. Good. All right, chill out a bit. Hey? Let's try the next one. Teriyaki with noodles this time. I haven't had too much. Once in a while, I've tried it. Nothing that worried me. Um, okay. let, let's see uh, what happens this time. The sauce has got thicker consistency it's got a very strong soy sauce flavor which we're very familiar with particularly if you eat lots of Japanese food yeah it's always a traditional sauce that accompanies food in Japan really what more more common than the katsu um, I believe so I'm not sure we'd have to we'll have to look that one up mm, got a bit of a tang Do the, does it all work together that works together thick teriyaki sauce very Strong, distinct soy flavor with the breaded chicken and the noodles. It's very carb heavy. I like it. I like I like the marriage of ingredients. All right, let's vote. How are we gonna rank these? If I had 10 pounds and I had to make a choice, I would still go with the traditional Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, mm. Gadahi. Which I thought I would as well, but I'm leaning towards the katsu curry actually. Yeah? Compared to the traditional Indian curry, if I'm in the mood for something different, I'd probably go with the, with this. What I will say, and I will agree with you, this I think needs to go into third place. As in, you know, it's still great, but very, very dense. Yeah. I agree with you in the sense that it's got less flavour in, but those flavours are, they stand out more. That's a good point. I mean, you got big chunks of onions and green peppers, mushrooms, whereas here it's very much feels like a clean curry taste. 
It's simple. Hey, cool. So there we have it, guys. Now you know the difference between Japanese style curry and traditional Indian curry. And just a quick note, actually, these two curries, the katsu and the teriyaki, have been ordered from a place called Pink Salmon in Romford that do a mix of Chinese and Japanese uh, traditional cuisines. Mm -hmm. So check them out. I mean, we quite enjoyed this today. Yeah, good for a takeaway. We've been Halal Hangouts. Guys, let us know below what's your favourite curry. And if you had a choice between a Japanese katsu curry or a Indian chicken karahi, which one would you go for? Vote below. Vote below. <laughs>